So here I've just got a 64 by 64 square health bar thing with a cut corner. And this is what we're going to use in our nine panel sprite to make the health bar. So in GDevelop, make a new object, make a nine patch, call it health bar, choose the health bar image. Um, and the reason this is white and not like red or green is because we're going to tween the RGB values of this. And so if you tween the RGB values of a colored sprite, then it's going to not go the color you expect it to. It's a strange way how GDevelop color tweens work. So since this is 64 by 64, we want to split it into three parts almost. So I'm just going to make mine 16 by 16 by 16 by 16. So then the corners are 16 by 16 and the uh, middle is 16 by 16. So this is going to cut up this sprite into 16 by 16 blocks. That's then going to piece it together and make it look good no matter how much you scale it. And so since there's this uh, darker part here, it is going to stretch that a bit if you make it bigger on the y-axis. But since this is a health bar, we don't need to do that. And so it doesn't matter much. So we can add in loads of detail on the y because we're not going to stretch it on the y. So I'm going to set the default width and height to 64 by 64 and then press apply. And now we can drag this in. And if we drag it, there seems to be a little bit of uh, glitching going on. But if we play it there, you can see it's a nice health bar. And so now I'm going to go into my player. I'm going to make an object variable. I call it health. And I'm going to set it to 500 just because the health bar needs quite a high value to look good because this is 720p. And so the higher the resolution, the higher value you want, apart from if you're going to resize the sprites. So then in the health bar object, I'm going to add a, a tween to it, a tween behavior. So now in the events, my first event is not going to have a condition. And this is just going to be setting the health bar to the player object variable. So we're going to set the size and the width tween of health bar. We could just call this health bar width. To width is going to be our player object variable. So player dot variable and then health. Easing can just be linear. And then duration we can put as let's say 100. So now if we play it, it's tweened it from what it was before in the um, editor to what it is now. But you didn't see that because it starts on my second screen for some reason. Now our second event is just gonna be taking health off. So I'm just gonna do a collision between the player and the enemy. And we're just gonna change the object variable of the player's health, uh, subtract it by 50, let's say. And so now you can see it goes down by 50 every time we hit the enemy object. And so now we're gonna start doing the uh, colors. So if our health variable is greater than 200, let's say, then we're gonna tween its color, and I'm just gonna call this health green. And the color is gonna be green. That's gonna be 0, 0255, 0, because RGB, red, green, blue red then green then blue linear easing and duration 100 and so now it's going to turn green when we play it so now it's green when we're playing it because it's more than 200 so now i can make another event and i can just copy and paste this but it should have less than or equal to 200 and then tween this to be red so now if i get down to under 200 it turns red and so the one bad thing about using nine patches as health bars is this the only kind of workaround that you could do is seeing if it's if the value is less than zero and then making it disappear or making it move off the side of the screen or hiding it behind a border of some kind. And so I'm just going to do tweening and I'm just going to make the opacity of it zero. We can do just like 50 just to make it quicker. So the reason why that didn't disappear when it got to zero was because it's saying less than zero. So we can do a less than or equal to to make it uh, disappear when it's equal to zero. So that's what going down in values of 50 does. So if I wanted to show this quicker, I could do it in values of 100. So now it'll take five times to get to zero. But since we did less than or equal to, it will disappear. So if you wanted to change the position of it to just make it go off of the screen, then you could do the X position and then 2X, we can do health dot X and then minus 50. So this is going to take the current position of the health bar and then minus 50 and set that to its new position. There you go. So there's a few different ways you can kind of like work around this nine patch thing. But if you don't want to do with that, then you can obviously just use a sprite and stretch it. But this was a nice kind of stylish way of making a health bar. And I hope this helps you and have fun.